Hi, I'm Matt Harrison, President of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and I'm here today with Reverend Dr. John Nunes, President of Lutheran World Relief, and we're going to talk to you about the Lutheran Malaria Initiative. President Nunes, tell us about it. Well, thank you, President Harrison. Uh, we are just delighted with the joyful partnership we have with the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Lutheran World Relief and the LCMS are working together, partnering together, walking together in order to make a difference around the world, especially with respect to the Lutheran Malaria Initiative. By 2015, our goal is to raise $45 million, and that money will be used to, so that people will not die from malaria. Every 45 seconds, a child dies, uh, a pregnant mother dies. Malaria is a huge life issue. And Matt, we've got a chance to make a difference. A big difference. Uh, what really excited me about this project, there's several aspects. Dollars will go directly to LCMS partners. They'll go to the LCMS to help its partners. They'll go to LWR to help its partners. And all of us to help, especially Lutherans, combat malaria. And the UN Foundation came to LWR several years ago with this proposal. Tell us about that. Yeah, they were looking for partners who had a network of uh, committed people. In our, in our case, it's people who are committed because of the compassion of Christ in order to make a difference around the world. And so they turned to us. And I want to thank congregations for your efforts. These efforts will be an amazing blessing around the world and will be a blessing to you as well. I believe that congregations will be continually transformed by the work they do around the Lutheran Malaria Initiative. It's fantastic because congregations just like yours are in places unlike yours where mosquitoes bite and do tremendous damage in very remote places in Africa. We have Lutheran congregations there and those congregations in this plan are the heart and soul of care and prevention education right there in those remote places to people in the area, so it's, it's tremendous. It's, it's, it's really exciting that we have, I think, this, this perfect blend of the kind of technical capacity, and in other words, malaria is beatable and treatable. We know what to do to make a difference around malaria. And we've got this amazing ecclesial network of people who are sharing life together, giving a common witness to the mercy of God in Jesus Christ. Many of you know Bishop Obari from the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Kenya. The Missouri Synod went into fellowship with that Kenyan church several years ago. You may not realize that of all of Walter Obari's 14 siblings, 10 of them died of malaria. This is a pressing need and a real challenge in the developing world, and we have a chance to make a huge difference. I'm really um, excited about the opportunity congregations can take to do practical things to make a big difference. Prayer is something we can all do. Um, supporting this uh, Lutheran Malaria Initiative through car washes, through youth events, through uh, rummage sales and raffles and all sorts of activities that bring congregations together and that actually make a huge impact. A tremendous impact. The Apostle John said, children, let us not love with words and tongue, but in deed and in truth. Jesus has had mercy on all of us. Let's have mercy on our neighbors in his blessed name. Thanks a lot, John. Thank you, Matthew.